Is science and technology. Science and technology is uh, used for the uh, benefit of humanity, for the benefit of society, and of course for the development of animation. I am uh, very much inspired by uh, Dr. Kalpana Chawla, as uh, she was from our neighbor city, Karnal, Indo American astronaut. Uh, she was the uh, mission specialist in Space Shuttle Columbia, and she was lost her life in uh, STS 107 in Space Shuttle Columbia disaster in 2003. I was a bit interested in the topic of uh, human life in space. I was always uh, thinking about the one question like whether human life is possible in space? If yes, then, is there any sort of transportation system in space? Is there any sort of pollution in space? Is there any sort of communication system in space? So I was always uh, thinking about all this uh, question when I was in school. And after that, in uh, 2008, I uh, passed out my school and I really want to become the aerospace engineer. I got uh, admission in an aerospace engineering university. But when I found uh, the fee structure of that university, that is near about uh, 25 lakhs rupees. And I dropped out that option and uh, I go for another institute and I, I got an admission in electronics and communication engineering. But still I am passionate about space science and technology. When I was in the first year of my engineering, then I again started my research work on the topic of uh, human life in space. And one day I found the topic of uh, space debris, space junk, space waste, space pollution. Very interested and start to assess its history and the recent growth. You know, Initially, uh, I was dissuaded by many people, including some of my faculty members, my friends, and even, of course, the chairman of my college. Though I was 100% focused on my research, and I proposed some new methods to clean up the space from space dust. And at the age of 18, uh, I wrote my first research paper. And at that age, I, I, even I don't know how to uh, write the research paper, uh, you know, what is the manuscript of the research paper, what is IEEE standard, how to submit the research paper, but still I wrote the research paper and submitted it to uh, ISEC USA, and I was just hoping for the best. After a few months, uh, I was really surprised that my very first research paper stood runner-up Jerome Pearson Award, an astronaut award in association with Microsoft and NASA. I stood that uh, award for my research on space junk. Basically, the space junk uh, is a sort of a collection of objects in space around you know, Earth. And that object may include everything. And that was created by human being itself, but no longer serve as useful purpose in space. Near about 42% of defunct satellites, electronic equipments, boosters, uh, you know, uh, lost equipments, clubs, everything in space. I would like to give you a, a, one example of space debris. That in 2009, Russian satellite Cosmos 2251 uh, you know, uh, collided with the American Iridium. Then that broke up into more than 500 pieces of space debris and just passed at a you know, dangerous distance of just 60 km above the International Space Station at a speed of 2,68,000 km per hour. And suppose if that particular time, even a single piece of space debris uh, collided with, hit it with the International Space Station, it not only damaged the International Space Station, but also threat to the life of astronaut, because at that particular time, six astronauts were living in that International Space Station. There are near about 20,000 pieces of space debris in space, that having a size greater than 10 centimeters, and having about millions and billions pieces of space debris in space, having a size few millimeter. Despite the size of these space debris, they have the potential to be immortal because of their, their, their speed. And they have a potential speed of near about thousands and lakhs of kilometer per hour. So uh, it's a very, very, you know, a serious problem in the space sector today, uh, the problem of space pollution or space junk. So I proposed some new methods or some new technology to uh, mitigate space tactics. And that may include uh, the use of uh, nanotube. Uh, 21st century is the century of technology. We have uh, biotechnology, we have artificial intelligence, we have fuzzy logic, we have nanotechnology. So, uh, we use the concept of nanotechnology. In this uh, technology, we will create a mesh. A mesh will act as a touch panel of the touch screen cell phone. Whenever any tiny particle, you know, uh, any small particle having size less than few millimeter is dashed on a particular piece of a space on a mesh, and that mesh immediately activated and sent the message to the nanobot or laser. And immediately that uh, 
a nanobot pick that particular piece of space debris and put it into the junk yard and after the uh, and after that uh, we use the process of reenter and in this way we can uh, you know uh, say our satellites electronic equipment and even the international space station in space and after that uh, i got the idea that why not we use this space debris for any useful purpose we know that 42% of space debris in uh, space is having uh, you know metals aluminum platinum cobalt all these things if we recycle uh, this space debris or space junk in space then we will create the space structure in space too and after that if we create the space structure then uh, what about source of uh, energy or power then i got the idea of fuel cell we know that uh, every metal in space is having uh, some ionic properties and we convert it into the uh, fuel cell concept in the power to our uh, you know electronic equipment or so international space station with the help of all these things and for uh, this research work uh, I, i received a dr kalpana chawla young scientist award in 2012 and till date uh, my 18 research papers got selected in international conferences organized by various space agencies may include uh, nasa isro esc jexa isec microsoft and uh, published in international journals after that uh, i got an idea of uh, uh, space elevator in association with isec usc basically space elevator is a sort of uh, transportation system uh, we transport the material from uh, earth into the deep space that is in geo geostationary earth orbit as we know that we already polluted our own uh, planet earth now we are going to uh, pollute uh, uh, space too so we should now ensure that uh, space is uh, uh, least get polluted uh, for our own safe exploration and even for the safety of uh, aliens if they happen to be exist in space and we have space elevator technology we have some techniques uh, related to you know uh, space debris i have an idea that definitely work on it that one day in conference will be organized in space too and <laughs> no doubt uh, my life is filled with lots of ups and downs uh, but i never think of them as uh, obstacles in my life uh, in the way to my success i think of them uh, as a speed breakers in the way to my success i never get afraid of these speed breakers and uh, uh, make up of them very carefully and smartly and i want india should be the first country uh, to you know implement some techniques to mitigate or to clean up the space and human life should be uh, possible in space because imagination has no limits and does not need any qualifications thank you